welcome to my channel plant-based storm i'm stormy and i want to come on here and do a quick video this morning and talk about cravings and some realistic things that you can do to help with that especially whenever you're first transitioning into a plant-based diet <music> So I'm sure that you've seen that there is a lot of research out there about the microbiome lately. So I wanted to talk about that for a minute because research suggests that um, bacteria in our guts may contribute to us craving certain foods by sending out hormonal um, signals to our brain to eat certain things. And the reason why it would be the case was that bacteria would benefit from receiving the nutrients that it thrives on um, and if you don't eat enough of those nutrients obviously they will die out so that said that you have an influence on what we actually uh, want to eat so I'm going to link the research in um, the description box below so that you can read that for yourselves but what can be done about that? So if you're like eating cheeseburgers and french fries and fried food all the time, your microbiome has been created based off of those types of foods. Then they say that you will end up craving more and more of those types of foods and not really craving the healthier foods. And the opposite is true, that if you eat like a bunch of fresh fruits and vegetables, frozen fruits, vegetables, leafy greens, um, everything that you would find on a plant-based diet, that biome would actually crave those healthy foods. So the simple short answer would be to um, just eat those healthy foods, which is easier said than done. But I find that if you continue to just um, go back to eating healthy, even if you have something unhealthy, keep going back and trying to um, make the distance in between whenever you have something unhealthy and healthy further and further and further apart, then eventually um, you can probably overcome that. And also wanted to talk about processed foods because the tips for um, changing the microbiome and getting rid of processed foods in your diet are going to be the same tip. So um, processed foods are everywhere in our diet, especially in American culture. Um, you know, just even in the regular home cooked meals that we make, a lot of things come straight from the box instead of straight from nature. So the tip that I have, and I have another video about this, about how I lost 70 pounds. I'll add the link up here above because it is really important. So how do you, do you beat this? Like, how do you beat this? You have, um, your microbiome may be working against you and you have processed foods not only in our everyday daily life but in the life of most people that we know well it would be to master your environment so make sure that you have healthy foods at an arm's reach instead of junky processed foods that come from a box you want to try to make sure that all of your foods are whole just as they came from nature and that they are coming from nature so you want to make sure basically that they're coming from a plant like the kind that grows in nature and not a plant like the kind that manufactures food that's the short of it and um, it's just really true um, so if you have all of that at your fingertips then you knock two things out right there you're going to be able to eventually change over your microbiome because you're no longer eating the junky processed foods and you're going to maintain a whole food plant-based diet and have things that are ready for you to eat that are healthy um, so that would be my number one tip to mastering cravings is because i know whenever i started eating a whole food plant-based diet i wasn't coming from a perfect lifestyle and i'm not saying that my whole food plant-based lifestyle right now is always perfect because it's not we're all human and we all make uh, different choices. And I'm not saying that they're even a mistake, you know, because I don't believe in having guilty feelings around food. I did that for far too long and I'm trying to release myself of having guilty feelings about food. So I would recommend making sure that you curate your environment to specifically support your healthy lifestyle. <music> Two 
it would be to make sure that you are getting enough calories. Whenever you're transitioning into a whole food plant-based lifestyle, especially coming from the standard American diet, um, you want to make sure that you're eating enough calories this is because you actually end up eating a whole lot more volume of food in order to meet your calorie needs. So um, whenever you are eating like a standard diet, it's much, much easier to get in fat and um, on higher calories in a very small proportion. Whenever you're eating a whole food plant-based diet, you have to eat a lot more food in order to do that. And it may feel strange whenever you're coming from the regular lifestyle that we're all accustomed to and coming into this whole food plant-based lifestyle because you feel like you shouldn't be eating that much, like you're doing something wrong. I know whenever I first started, I was like, there's no way I can eat this much food or I should be able to eat this much food. But I quickly realized in order for me to maintain um, this lifestyle, I was going to have to eat more food because I had to feel satisfied. If you're not going to be satisfied, then you may find yourself craving different things because you're truly hungry. So um, just make sure that you're eating enough calories. And the way that I did this was I would make myself a 50-50 plate. And for those of you that don't know what that is, is I basically follow the starch solution. So a 50-50 plate is gonna be 50% starches and 50% non-starchy vegetables like leafy greens and a variety of different vegetables. It's the basic format of the plate. So what I would do is I would make sure that I made my plate that way and I would eat and I would assess whether I was hungry or not after I got through with that plate. And if I was still truly hungry, then I would go back and I would have seconds, but I would fix my plate exactly the same. It's tempting to just go back in there and get the yummy foods like your potatoes and your rice and all of that kind of stuff. But instead you need, which I'm not saying that your vegetables and stuff aren't yummy, but I mean, most people tend to prefer the higher calorie foods because that's just natural. It tastes good. It is good. It's what your body craves. So the thing is though, you want to make sure that you have enough dilution of calories by adding in those non-starchy vegetables into your plate and then you won't eat as much. And I'll add a link up here talking about calorie density and how it works. And I'll also add it in the description box below. If you haven't seen that video, it's a pretty good demonstration on why calorie density is important and how we can use it to our advantage to help us with weight loss and health goals. So what else can you do? This is a pretty good tip and it is to simply plan ahead. So you want to make sure that you have a meal plan whether you know you can sit down at the beginning of the week or the end of the week before your week starts whatever day is most um, reasonable for you to do this and plan out your meals and it doesn't have to be an exact detailed plan now, i personally do like to have a detailed plan i'm not perfect i don't always have a plan i don't always um, eat off of a menu but I do try to plan ahead and if I can't have a plan then I make sure to have things that are frozen like greens in the freezer that I can pop in the microwave or on the stove really quickly I make sure to have potatoes and rice and all of my starchies um, on my shelf and I also make sure to have some fresh things in the refrigerator that I know that I can just put together a meal quickly or have a snack right at my fingertips like fruit so planning ahead is a huge 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 tool in my opinion to help you stay on track and beat cravings another thing that planning ahead does is it actually preloads the thinking up front so you have to put like you know some energy and effort into planning what you're going to have for the week but then kind of go on autopilot for the rest of the week because you already know what you're having right you have it written down you have the menu items purchased and they are ready to go so it takes the pressure off of you and it puts the control in your hands so whenever you have a plan you're more likely to succeed and that's true with anything in life not just eating so um, I think it's absolutely important and necessary to do because we plan and do so many different things in life 
And this is one of the most important things that you can plan for. It is actually planning for your health. So it just makes it so much easier. It makes a lot of sense. And I really highly recommend trying to plan ahead um, to help beat cravings. <music> Number three is going to be to make sure that you eat the rainbow. So make sure that your diet is nutritionally sound. And what I mean by that is that you want to make sure that you're eating your starches. You want to make sure that you're eating your beans and legumes, a whole wide variety of vegetables like your leafy greens and everything that you can think of that is all the colors of the rainbow. It ensures that you get vitamins from all over the spectrum uh, to eat from the rainbow and it makes sure that your diet is nutritionally sound. And I always supplement with B12 myself. I just use a spray to make sure that I eat some plant fats. Now I'm still in a trying to lose weight so I don't just eat um, fats with every single meal. I may do low fat meals, but I do have some um, fats in my diet. Like I may eat a half of an avocado. I may eat chia seeds. I may eat flax seeds. There's all different kinds of ways to get whole food um, fats into your diet. I am oil free, um, but that is my personal choice. So you can do whatever it is you want to just make sure that your diet is nutritionally sound and rounded. And that should help with cravings too, making sure that you're getting a variety of nutrient dense foods into your diet. <music> So to go ahead and recap, kick the junk food um, and this will help to repopulate your microbiome as search suggests and then it will also get rid of the junk food out of your house so that knocks two things out of the way right off the bat and then you are going to want to make sure that you're getting enough calories so that you're not starving and craving things that you probably actually would love to eat because you're hungry. So always make sure that you get in enough calories and always try to eat a sound diet. And these three practical things will help you go a long way in beating cravings and being successful on a whole food plant-based diet. So I hope this was helpful to everyone in some way, especially since I get so many questions about cravings. Please, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching.